For all your video and photography needs, definitely reach out to evokestudio.io. That's evokestudio.io. Stop by the website, check out our work, and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks. Welcome to the Gun Channel. I have this tasty review of this Phoenix PD36 TAC flashlight. It's marketed as a tactical flashlight and it comes in at around 100 bucks. It has a rechargeable lithium ion battery, 3000 lumens of output, and seven different modes. I just finished a review on the same company with this 5000. Uh, lumen output and I have a link below so after this video you can check that out and stick around to the end of this video I will compare about a half a dozen flashlights to each other so you can get a great idea of what 3000 lumens will look like coming from this light but first let me take you through some basic operations while we cover some specs in the process it operates on this tail switch design on the back here you'll see a rotation knob and it has three different positions and then a typical button in the center of the back where you can half press or full press uh, in order to lock and leave it on. If you rotate this switch all the way to the right, righty tighty, then um, it will be in tactical mode and that will be locked in at 2000 lumens for your constant light as well as your strobe. And so uh, as you're in tactical mode, we got a soft press for momentary, hard press to lock it into place and then hold down on the button and you'll get in the strobe every time and it will stay on constant. Yeah, have no problems with that, that works just fine. And I should also mention that the strobe on this has variable timing, so when you lock it in, get it going, and you hold it for a moment, you'll see that it changes um, its tempo, if you will. And so it's kind of a variable timing on that strobe, which is cool, I like that feature. And now if you rock this switch to the center, that will be putting you in lock mode, which means the button actually is physically locked it will not come on. Let's see if it'll, let's see if it, uh, if I put it in sport mode here, <laughs> in tactical mode, if I rotate this switch, um, it locks the button. Where, so that it works both ways, right? So if you don't want it to come on in a backpack, for example, um, and kill your batteries, you can put it in lock mode. Or if you want to turn the light on and make sure it doesn't turn off for whatever reason, you can put it in lock mode as well. And that's lock mode, so if we rotate this all the way to the left, I believe that's correct, then we will be in duty mode. And this gets us into the ability to cycle through all the different uh, lumen settings. We're in duty mode, so do a hard press and it just keeps it on constant. That's at 30 lumens, you probably can't see that on the back wall there. Half press goes to 150 lumens, next press 350 lumens, 1000 lumens, and then 3000 lumens. And that gets you in that way. And if I hit it one more time, it just cycles back to the lowest lumens, which is 30 lumens. While you're cycling through duty mode through all the different lumen settings, anytime that you smash down on that, it will go into 2000 lumen strobes. So that's always available to you no matter which mode you're in on this particular light. The runtime in tactical mode, which is 2000 lumens, it's just over three hours, which is great. Over in duty mode, the best battery life you will get is about 43 hours in eco mode. 10 hours at 350 lumens, which is pretty damn sweet, and about an hour and a half in turbo. So an hour and a half in turbo mode, 3000 lumens. Although I will say that any and all of these flashlights, they do have a protective circuit in them that when the unit gets too hot from running those high lumens, it will start to bring down the brightness intensity to protect the light bulb. So that's pretty much um, indicative of all these flashlights that are out with these LED lights in them. And this throws a light pretty good. At 2000 lumens, uh, they claim the distance at 738 feet. At 350 lumens, they have a distance set, um, set at about 302 feet, and turbo should get you all the way up to 900 feet. Um, that's one thing I will say about Phoenix lights when I look at the specs on them and the charts and uh, real world user experience. The um, information they give is really, really accurate as far as the fall off of light, um, the intensity, the run time, how far you can kind of see with them candela that's all seems to be really really accurate now exactly how bright is 3000 lumens these are about a half a dozen um, lights that i have to kind of compare them to to show you the different lumen outputs i could almost do the brady bunch theme here it's a story a lovely lady okay i've got all the flashlights on maximum output this is 80 lumens 250 500 lumens 3000 lumens 5,000 lumens. Tree line of that boat's about 50 yards away. Stream light, 80 lumens. 50 yards away, 80 lumens. Stream light, 250 lumens. 
50 yards away. Streamlight, 500 lumens, 50 yards away. Phoenix, 3,000 lumens, 50 yards away. Phoenix, 5,000 lumens, 50 yards away. And you do need to unscrew it in order to charge the batteries in it. The battery this one came with is 5,000 milliamps, which is pretty damn dope. And it also uh, enables you to charge the battery from USB-C cable. And here on the tip, it will show you the, uh, there's a light in there, and it'll show you an indicator of what the battery condition is when you're charging it. Um, I'm not sure how they put all those electronics inside with the battery, but uh, whatever voodoo, ninja, witchcraft magic they're doing, I appreciate it. That's pretty damn dope. And then put it back in the flashlight and you're good to go. Everything feels really nice except for the tail switch. Now, the tail switch isn't really, really bad. It's just not as satisfying as the other lights that I just reviewed from Phoenix. This model TK35UE version 2.0, yep, still a mouthful, um, has a tail switch on it that feels really, really good. It's just um, aluminum construction all the way throughout. And then when uh, operating this rocker roller switch on the back here and the multiple buttons, they just feel very, very satisfying. If you could just make this back tail switch feel a little better, similar to this other light, that would even be that much more satisfying. But it doesn't affect the functionality. It functions perfect, actually, and it's very robust. I've uh, dropped this and banged this thing around quite a bit in the last few months while I've had it. And this light I typically had in my pocket or backpack, walk around flashlight, and also handed it off to uh, one of my daughters as we worked through the challenges of no electricity for a couple of weeks. Also a cool pointer for camping or for power outages is to shoot this light into a one gallon jug of water to really light up an entire room, say in a bathroom or something. And no, I'm not gonna take you in the bathroom with me, sick sons of bitch. Take your light and put it up to the uh, bottle of water. Uh, yeah, this will light up an entire room. I really like this light and it comes in at about a hundred bucks with the battery and to have an affiliate link below that you can use to go and find it. They have a few different variations of some tactical lights. So if this one isn't perfect for you, you're probably going to be able to find a flashlight on there that is. I've reviewed three lights from Phoenix so far this year and all of them have been really good. They've held up through a lot of abuse and they just simply perform. Constructive criticism time. On the light, I would have to say a nicer feeling tail cap, which I've already talked about, and also give me a cleaner bulb on this unit, which gives me a cleaner light with less green tint. This probably won't bother many of you, but I'm a photographer and a videographer, and I'm very sensitive to different kinds of light, whether it's a warm light or a cool light, or, it or if it has a green tint, tint to it. <clears throat> Stand by. This light has a very severe green tint to it. Does it matter for seeing shit in the dark? Absolutely not, works just fine. To make the light more satisfying, give me a bulb in here that doesn't have quite as much of a green cast to it. I know it's a nitpicky thing and very minor, but I just thought you should know. Nobody probably gives a shit, but there it is. Um, you know what else is really fun for a horrible segue? Lifting heavy things and shooting stuff. Anybody interested in a tactical athlete competition, check out the PatriotGames.us. They're adding dates and locations all the time to their website. You can sign up to compete or just simply show up to spectate. The Patriot Games are basically a combination of CrossFit, Tough Mudder, and tactical shooting. It's pretty dope and the community is outstanding and Anthony and Allie always do a great job running these events. Many of you know Jessica and I do all the photography and videography for these events and we have a production company named evokestudio.io. We do everything from wedding photography to broadcast television. We do specialize in quite a few different things. I would love for you to stop by our website at evokestudio.io or you can click this QR code here down at the corner. I don't know where I'm going to put it so I'll just point all these different directions. But yeah, check out our work and reach out to us for all of your photography and videography needs. I feel grateful you would spend your valuable time with me. All right, we'll see you soon.